Hello, welcome to the channel. We're gonna talk about a few things today. We're gonna to talk about the 6D Mark II. We're gonna talk about <laughs> the Joby Gorilla Pod. And we're gonna talk about the new Peter McKinnon filter, which is about $300. It's about a $3,000 makeup, not including the lens of a Sigma, which thank God didn't break. But it was all due to the Joby. And uh, we're gonna talk about how not to do that. And it should be fairly easy, relatively. I haven't seen it in the, any other YouTube channel, so we're gonna talk about it. Let's go. So it seemed to happen, I was out here on my front porch where I am now, hanging out with my doge. You can't see him, but he's here, right here. And I was fiddling around with putting my lens cap. I was busy trying to put this back on the filter of the camera. And I was holding the Joby in my hand. And as I pushed this on, my thumb hit the button on the Joby making my camera fall and hit the concrete. And it basically dented the shit out of my, my uh, ND filter, which I was trying out the six to nine because I bought both. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a bad day. So anyway, I had this button, that button there, here. So as I pushed the lens on, the lens cab, I hit the bottom and it fell off, denning, denning the ND filter. Um, so basically you put the button on the side and I suggest very much highly that you do it on whatever dexterity of your hand is. Because the way I'm gonna grab this, and I will always grab this, is by the ball and around it to, to hold it. When I'm changing a lens or changing anything. So you wanna make sure that the button's not accessible. So it's probably best to put it on this side, but for my hand, I know it's safe here. Or you can probably put it on the other end. But the way it's designed, they design it with the, the ball to be in the back, which makes the button in the front. Which the button in the front, you're gonna, you're gonna have a bad time. Most everybody knows these things, and I'm not sure if it's uh, actually corresponded with the paperwork that comes with Joe, because when I got mine, I just put it on and I used it. So, but like I said, <clears throat> make sure that that button is not facing you and pushing it while you're trying to do things. And second of all, you should always, uh, if you're holding a camera like this with the Joby, make sure that the button is away from your hand. That way, if you try to grab it, you're not gonna have an issue of falling off the, the Joby. It's simple. Uh, I want everybody to be able to watch this and learn from my mistake, because relatively, it could have been a $3,000 mistake. So anyway, kids, shoot safe, get out there, go make some content, throw it on the YouTube. Everybody needs to have a good day. And we're going to do more of these. We're going to do more uh, videos on uh, basically photography, videography, and uh, fitness. So, and I got reviews of things that I haven't seen reviews on on YouTube of late. So it should be great. New content people aren't really talking about. Shoot safe. <laughs> get out there.